All right, welcome to yet another segment that I absolutely love. It's called Green Warriors on Green Fix right here on TV47, where we focus on warriors who are actually doing great for the environment. When it comes to matter sustainability, they have a passion for the environment, and that's what we like to encourage and, of course, amplify their voices. So today with me, I have engineer Lucy Wanjiku, who is the founder of uh, EcoCycle. And when it comes to EcoCycle, they know how to recycle water, recycle sewage, to get it to become orderless water water fit for your grass fit for your gardens and that's exactly why we're going to be highlighting this particular beautiful garden that you're seeing i'm standing in a home in karen uh, that of course has the eco cycle plant with over 245 eco cycle sewage recycling installations that's how much how many homes that they've managed to install their plant in homes buildings of course 1.65 million liters of sewage turned to clear orderless water daily so without further ado, let's get right into this conversation. Karibu sana, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And thank you for making time to come here thank to see so our much. green work. I mean, I love the fact that we're standing here, we're having a conversation. There is no smell whatsoever. And all of this is courtesy of your work at EcoCycle. Of course, you guys are enthusiasts, um, environment enthusiasts, and you're making it possible by just turning sewage water into normal water that's reusable for gardens, especially. Yes. So maybe you can tell us more about, you know, when you started EcoCycle, how it began, and take us back to the days of when you were just founding this beautiful company. So thank you very much. EcoCycle is a 10-year-old company founded in 2014, of course, based in Nairobi. And the story of how I came about with EcoCycle, I grew up in the village. And so I grew up just like in a surrounding like this with trees, no sewer pollution. And when I cleared university and moved to Nairobi for job search, I, the one thing that bothered my mind is just seeing raw sewer in the street, yeah. something that I had not experienced before in the village. So I started working in automotive industry, but at some point I got a scholarship to Germany. Wow. And while in Germany is when I got exposure and learned about uh, the concept of recycling mm -hmm. sewage to reusable water just while relaxing at one of the beautiful parks in Hanover City in Germany. Mm -hmm. And so while there, I felt um, the thing that I've been craving for, the solution that I've been thinking we may need back uh, at home is right here. So I thought uh, if I go back home, I'm going to found a company that gives such a solution. And fast forward, 2014 came. Uh, when I came back, I was employed a bit by okay. someone that was almost doing the same thing. Right. So I learned a bit of uh, loopholes and what was happening in the market. And so come 2014, I felt I was ready to do it as myself. I'm a mechanical engineer, mm -hmm. so I had already been working in several projects and I felt I was ready to found a company and give a solution as mm -hmm. what I had seen in Germany, where they turn uh, sewage to reusable water and just maintain clean cities. Okay, yeah. interesting. Um, Lucy, when you first started, you know, one of the biggest challenges is, of course, convincing people. Yes, you do have a product that's amazing and word of mouth is something that us as Kenyans, we really rely on. But the fact that you're working with waste, did you have any stigma, any misconceptions? People were a bit worried about, you know, would this work? Yes. So definitely um, there was the yak factor. Okay. That, that's already the biggest stigma. You're telling a market that has not experienced a lot of sewage being turned to water. Yes. So there was the arc factor. Do I really believe you? Are you sure you're going to give me orderless, clear water? Mm -hmm. Uh, secondly, um, it's 10 years ago, so I was 10 years younger wow. and a graduate engineer, not even registered um, uh, to being a professional engineer. So, And my target were these engineers that do projects. I convince them so that they convince their clients. Mm -hmm. So I remember just in the second month, an engineer saw our website. Because I was young, by the way, I already started with everything set. My website was set. Mm -hmm. So this engineer walks in and says, a young girl, I have seen your website you seem to have a very good technology okay. so what is this about and as I was explaining it tells hold on first of all are you a registered engineer mm -hmm. then I say uh, no he's like okay if you have to convince us engineers to convince clients then you have to register okay. and become a registered engineer because you're too young you're not registered if you stand in front of us to tell us about this thing Nobody will believe you. So mm -hmm. again, there, uh, what I would bring in is if you are a professional, you sort of need to comply with the regulations of that profession because yes. engineering, law and doctors is the three 
regulated professions. And then, of course, the price. Um, back then, the system was VAT exempt. Uh, it was a bit cheaper, but still people were saying it's quite a high price because yeah. they are comparing to some other cheap solutions that don't necessarily give you clear orderless water. So you're fighting a high price. Uh, everybody loves German machines, but they don't want to pay for German machines. Mm -hmm. Like the, the founder of the German company, when he came around yeah. in the beginning of the years, he just said, hey, your market, they want to drive Mercedes, but they want to pay the <laughs> price of Mazda. So it, very true. <laughs> so very true. it was, uh, yeah, that was a challenge and then um, again recruiting um, yes we, we we are in the university we've graduated but you realize wastewater is sort of not yet a detailed subject being taught of in course. university so it's a new company and you also have to spend time training people that you're trying to hire we are all young so you are trying to sell you are still teaching another person but it, it pulled through okay yeah so you mentioned that in the beginning obviously it was really hard to convince people to pay this particular amount of of money which is obviously higher than market price uh, so the pricing point is a challenge of yes course, in the beginning at least yes so how did you ensure that you're able to monetize this particular plant to be able to make money sustainably in the long run and how long before you first you know broke even and were able to make money Okay, so um, the first 10 projects that I talked about yes. were very useful. They were like the pilot project. Okay. So the doubting Thomas, like the Bible, before I could convince anyone, they want to see a working system. Yes. So the first 10 systems, I may say I was lucky. They came in very fast. Mm -hmm. And I believe it's because of my expertise and, and being professional working with these consultants previously, because when I told them to take up, it was very easy. But then from the 10, we had to do a lot of, it's like preaching, like it was just days of going around sites, meeting people, preaching about yeah. it, and then they say, can you show me where it's working? Yeah. So these 10 projects were always a great showcase and they helped us to move because in the next year, we moved very fast. Okay. And actually in the second year is when I got the biggest project that EcoCycle has ever done, a, a, a plant that recycles 150,000 liters of sewage every day. Wow. It's a gated community bigger than this estate. So it was taking them to site to see. Mm -hmm. So before I could break even, just like business school says, mm. it was up to 2017. Ooh. But then in the first three years, it's really setting up yeah. and trying to move traction and create. But financially to break even, it was after three years. Mm -hmm. So you start rising 2018, then COVID came. Of course. So back down to zero. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. So Lucy, as we had mentioned, the beginning of this particular conversation, um, we're standing on a garden right here, which is watered by this recycled sewage water. And the plant is behind us. Maybe we can go there and you can take us through how the system works. Yes, thank yeah. you. And I must remind everyone, EcoCycle is about safe sewage for Africa. Yes. So when we talk about safe sewage for Africa, basically what we mean is we are turning something that everybody thinks is harmful, mm -hmm. is waste, and that needs to be discarded back to something valuable, just like what you see here. This is recycled water from sewage. Probably later we'll be able to fetch uh, the raw sewage and show you. Okay. So uh, basically uh, sewage treatment is a combination of science science, um, biology, chemistry, and, and all that. So yes. when you acquire a, an eco-cycle system, what you have to do is first, you need to build a tank. Yeah. Okay. Of course, before you build, we'll do the designs, we'll do the calculations, and come up with the best capacity per day. And we always design the systems based on the population of people occupying our premises. Okay. So what happens is a tank will be built as per our dimension. So in this case, this is the tank where the sewage seats it's usually about 5.6 meters by 2 meters wide so taking very little space in your home okay. so the last manhole uh, comes there like all the sewage from the house from showers mm -hmm. uh, toilets kitchens bathrooms hand wash sinks we take everything okay. unlike other uh, systems where you will be told to separate the other type of wastewater from toilets we take everything and everything comes to this little system so when it comes in it flows into the first chamber so this tank is divided into four chambers okay. uh, so you see the inflowing 
you may have some yak factor moment yeah. <laughs> because this is where you see the real raw oh, sewage. Wow, that's a sewage. So it's flowing in and then it overflows oh, to yeah. the second chamber. <laughs> now you can smell it. Now so smell we need it. to close it so that um, it doesn't get smelly. Now it's smelling because it's not processed. <laughs> so it overflows to the second chamber. Okay. And the design is to enable any solids or non biodegradables yes. uh, to remain there. So this here. already smells better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So you just had the system turn on on its own because we have a PLC, Programmable Logic Control. So it's an automated system with its own brain. So it has timings to come on and off. And what it's doing now, this is an air compressor, sucking air from the environment and infusing it down into the sewage through these air hoses that you see running through this conduit. So basically, it's, I'll try to keep it very simple. It's biology and chemistry, biochemistry. Yeah. So our sewage has microorganisms. Yes. If you give them oxygen, you're helping them to grow and mutate. Mm -hmm. So when, the oxygen, when they mutate, the new bacteria, for them to form their mass, Part of what is in the fecal matter is their food. Mm -hmm. So the fecal matter that we think is waste is actually the, what they need to grow. On, so yeah. as they feed on it, you, they generate water and CO2, and that's how you remove the fecal matter out of the, out wow. of the sewage. So this takes about eight hours from when raw sewage is fed in this is called aeration, like yes. infusing oxygen. Yes. And after eight hours, the breakdown will have happened. Mm -hmm. Then the machine will go off on its yeah. own go into settling mode, the clear water comes on top, the biomass goes down, so the clear water again, the machine pumps it mm -hmm. to the last chamber. Okay, so, so we're now at the last chamber. So maybe I need to fetch once more, so yeah. you don't think we took it from a tap. Okay. So she's going to fetch the water to see how clean it looks. Let's see whether my village uh, well <laughs> tactics still work. <laughs> Perfect. Hey. <laughs> Look so this is clear, odorless water from sewage. Yes, no smell. You can confirm. Oh, wow, no smell. So for when real. we say safe sewage for Africa, this is what we mean, and we are living it. We are doing it. Clans are enjoying green spaces, courtesy of recycled water. So we can support the president to plant the 15 billion trees by recycling all the sewage in Kenya and in Nairobi, mm -hmm. and keep uh, green spaces and ensure no sewer pollution in the environment mm -hmm. yeah okay brilliant absolutely brilliant um and of course we're standing at yeah. someone's in someone's house in someone's yeah. garden so maybe we'll also get a, a bit of you know feedback from them on yeah. how it is because they live here yeah. day to day so we'd like to know if this water is truly odorless <laughs> sure sure all right and with me i have justina the homeowner of this beautiful home right here with this lush garden and of course this is where the plant is the sewage uh, recycling plant maybe you can tell us more about your experience with ecocycle how long you've had it installed in this particular house and how it's been so far is ecocycle a hundred percent odorless the water that is recycled that is oh thank you very much um i'm actually very excited about ecocycle uh, it's been six years and a half since we, we we got this system. Yes. And it has been lovely all the way around. Mm -hmm. You can see the lawn is green. Mm -hmm. And um, this is, has been my biggest desire to have a lawn that is green and that is really um, lively. And you love just walking around when the lawn is like this and the fence is green. Yeah. Uh, so that is the most important uh, aspect about this system. And the fact that the water comes out when it is very clean, like you can, you've already seen, it, it comes out odorless and mm -hmm. uh, very clean. and. Uh, um, yeah, it, it's been very good to have this system and um, the other bit about this system is that it helps us to economize on water. Yeah. Uh, like you, you, you realize all of us in Kenya, the, the seasons are changing, we are having less and le less rain. And so if you can be able to maximize the water that you're using and uh, do so much with it, then that, that's a plus to me. And um, the other thing is that um, it, it is natural, it's a natural way of, of watering your, your grass mm -hmm. and whatever else it is here. It doesn't have chemicals and that is also a plus to me because I don't like chemicals. So actually we are very happy, we are very happy to have such a system. it's a system that I recommend to everyone mm -hmm. everyone because you can see it's it's a it's a testimony what you're seeing is a testimony that this plant really works yes
Yes. So very happy. Uh, we are happy with EcoCycle and uh, we feel blessed about the system. Okay. I recommend it to everyone. Amazing. And Justina, you've done a good job as well because you've uh, you know, just adapted this Going Green movement wholly. The fact that you have decided to go green with EcoCycle and recycle sewage water, um, it's, a, it's a great way to just ensure that we are maintaining sustainability all around. Yeah, yeah. So we need more people like you. Oh, and yeah. We need people like you to encourage other people as well to be able to recycle water mm -hmm. and, and yeah just to just to ensure that we're doing something for the planet yeah yeah and keep our environment green yes yes yeah, yes, yes. yeah. And that has been engineer Lucy Wen. So much for joining us. Of course, the founder of EcoCycle. Um, EcoCycle, as you've seen, is a functioning plant that really just ensures that water is recycled to be 100% odorless. Yes, and clear. And clear, as you've seen for yourself. So I hope that you also, if you're watching at home, you're able to just adapt to sustainability and be able to recycle water as well. It also helps in, of course, cost efficiency. Yes. It lowers your bills, your water bills. So this is also a win-win for you. Aside from helping the environment, aside from going green, you're also helping yourself and you're helping your pockets. Climate action, planting trees, yes. being sustainable creating safe spaces for the future generation yes. to grow so yeah it's, it's all a movement and i feel like the more people watch such shows the more people watch such conversa conversations and see it uh, take place and of course see it in action i feel like that's when you can truly convince people to go green 100 percent. yes the the seeing is believing yes. and uh, yeah join the safe sewage for africa movement let's go green Let's have safe spaces. Absolutely. Thank you yeah. so much for watching. This has been another episode of Green Warriors right here on Green Fix. I am Shiksha Aurora. Until next time, we'll be doing this all over again with somebody else. And of course, just highlighting their voice and amplifying their mission, which is to ensure sustainability is achieved 100% here in Kenya. And of course, globally as well. That's it for us, from us, for now. Thank you.